on guys, it's me GPC123 and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your first song and how to record and release your music to the world. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want, uh, probably want to do is to find a beat which you like. And to do this, you can use anything such as YouTube or BeatStars.com. I personally use BeatStars.com because they have so many different beats and whatnot. So, and then you listen to a few of the beats. So, I'll be using one of my songs, Climate Music, as an example. And, yeah, let's do it. Let's listen to this beat and see how it is. Okay, so I like this beat. So now what I'm going to show you is how you can download it. So you down here, you scroll down up after finding your beat and then it says download for free so then all you have to do is make an account on BeatStars and then click follow on BeatStars and then you can download it so I'm gonna or if you find it on YouTube you can uh, go to this website and then you can paste in a, a link start and then you go mp3 get link download then we just wait for it to download also you can also make your own beats on soundtrack so let me show you that as well so what you want to do is probably to make an account on soundtrack like this you click noggin with google then you choose your account Then here, let me show you one of the uh, cool intros or type chill beat which I made in the past. Let's play it. Skip ahead just so you guys can see the, a cool bit which I like to show people. These are all beats which I've made in the past. Alright, so after we found your song or your beat which you like, you would probably want to start making your lyrics. And for that, some things that you'll probably want to think about are what things would you like to tell the world? What are some of your opinions of yours? And what are some things you feel to other people? I find that's the easiest way to write lyrics is to write like love songs and how you feel towards someone else. I personally say that love songs and all that are pretty easy to write. But also, other more happy songs or sad songs if you prefer, 
can sometimes be easier depending on the mood of your song and the type of beat you've chosen. Uh, if you want to do rap, for example, like I do rap uh, quite a few times, um, you would want to come up with rhymes for your song. And the best way of coming up with rhymes for your song is to write a line and then go to a website called Rhyme Zone. So uh, here I'll show you. This is Rhyme Zone. And then type in the words you'd like to rhyme with and find the one that works for you. So let's see a word like nice. So there's all these different words such as slice, vice, wice, twice, splice, rice, price. All these different words rhyme with nice or at least sound similar to nice. Alright, so after you've written all your lyrics, so this is my beat which I found for this specific song, and here are lyrics which I've written in the past because this is one of my older songs. So you'll probably want to make an account on BandLab, which is the audio recording software which I use personally and to make all my music, so I'll be showing you how to use making music using this. So the first thing you want to do is click up here in the top right corner where it says sign up and then you want to click down here where there's a colorful G which means to sign in or sign up using Google. Wait wait for it, wait for it to load. And then the first thing you want to do is come up with a username. So let's do this username. Uh, best username in the world. Test one two three 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 one. Best username in the world. There's no stopping that. <laughs> All right. After that. Also be aware that you can also change your profile picture over here by clicking on this and choosing your profile picture. But since I like this already, I'm going to keep it. And then you click continue. And then you're an artist because you were wanting to make music on here. And then tell Bandler more about yourself. So tell them like whether you're a guitarist, drummer, vocalist, songwriter, a beat maker, a number one fan of someone who uses this. So I'm all of these. And then afterwards you can click continue. If you do pick up any other stuff and later and you want to add it, you can always change this stuff in the settings if you want. Then pick your favorite uh, genre of music. So mine is rock, pop, hip hop, R&B, electronic, and funk. Then you click next, you can also change this in the settings anytime you want later on. And then it'll take you to your feed. Then you go to the top right corner where it says plus create. Then you go into, down to new project. Wait for it to load. Now this whole area, this whole area is called the studio. So now the first thing you want to do is to click import audio slash midi and then import your beat into this. So then you go down to downloads. So here's my beat, which I had downloaded from earlier. Don't need this. Allow, allow a band to use a microphone at all times. Then check it's the right beat. <laughs> So this is my, this is the right track. So you want to go up here to where it says add track, click voice slash audio, and go to, and choose the microphone which you're currently using. For me it's this one. Then it, you'll want to start singing. So if you want to have your lyrics uh, with you at all times, then click down here, 
lyric slash notes and then paste your lyrics in from your document which you made which you made or have have to make so there you go Control c to copy it and paste it and then to start recording you can click on this red circle up here and we'll always remember to go back to notes and notes So now I have my singing here. And to always, if you want to remove this, you can click back where it says lyrics slash notes, and it will get, remove that panel. So let's listen to this. Alright, that sounds pretty nice. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click over here, it says plus FX. Then, click on this grey square. And then, Bandlab has tons of different presets and effects that will make your voice sound nice. But I prefer Scotty Tone. Because it makes your voice sound like really crisp. And the sky sound because it makes your voice sound louder with a slight echo. So we're going to use sky sound for today. And if you want to learn how to use any of these. I, pr I suggest watching a more professional uh, video on BandLab. As this is just a beginner be beginner's tutorial. So I won't be going through this for today. All right, let's listen to this. Why so Pretty good. So now we go down to the bottom left corner where it says auto pitch, and then turn it on. Now. Auto pitch is basically Bandlab's version of auto tune. Now I know what you're thinking that you don't want to use auto tune, but trust me, I had that mindset ages ago, and my, my voice sounded so horrible on using Bandlab. And so now I use always use at least a little bit of auto tune just to make sure it's good. Classic is the best one to use. Modern rap, robot, big harmony duet. There's different types of ones. You can mess around with it in your own time, but. I'll be t teaching you with the classic. So let's see how it sounds with the heaviest auto tune. Okay, sounds pretty bad. So let's use it's lower to like forty percent. Why so mean? What about Kajo? But who believes? Pretty it sounds pretty good. But I reckon we need it around twenty-five. Yeah, that sounds Why so mean? Alright, that sounds really nice. And once you're finished with your song, so you first or of course click save, 
make sure you never lose your work. Just continue saving your work through, as throughout the process of singing and making everything. Then you'll want to click on this arrow, where it will take you back to your song screen. Let it process. Oh, and I forgot one thing. You can name your project anything you want. So let's just name it right now. Alright, we got a name. It's already saved, so another way to exit and go to your song pages just to click exit from these three bars. So now we have a name. Now, what you'll want to do is click on uh, three dots, then click mastering, because this will make your sound, voice sound even better than it already is. So wait for it to enhance to distribution quality, as it says on the screen right now, and then, then I'll teach you everything about it. It's universal. This is fire. Clarity. It's basically a little bit old tape. They thought they did. Why so me? Not a marker, Joe. But who believes? Alright. Now, I'll tell you what each of these things do. So universal, the one in the purple, that makes your uh, song sound great with, and it has total balancing and has that natural dynamic. Uh, clarity, the blue one, makes your vocals and audio sound more clear. Tape, the orange one, makes it sound more warm, it has those older type dynamics, those analog dynamics. Fire, make the red one, makes your song stand out with a punchy low end, which means the bass is good, and has reasonably good clarity in it. Alright, so I'm gonna go with clarity, because that sounded the best. Wait for it to master. Wait for it to process as well. Alright. So once it's been mastered, then you can go over here where it says download. Click on Mastered, and out of these four, I recommend clicking on Highest, which means that it will be a lightweight file, doesn't take up much room, but it will also sound really nice. So download that one. Alright, it's done. So it download. Okay, it's done downloading. So now... Now you've made your song, now what would you like to do with it? You probably want to uh, show it to the world, won't you? So, you probably want to upload it somewhere like YouTube or Spotify. I'll tell you how to upload to Spotify, and then I'll show you how to upload to YouTube, as well as show you how to make the cover art. So, to make cover art, the first thing you have to do is go to Canva. Make an account on Canva using your Google login. I've already made an account with Canva, so I'm just gonna click create a design. And then, if you want to upload to Spotify, you have to make sure your size is 3000 by 3000, as I've done recently. Otherwise, go and type in YouTube video and then right here click on this one make sure it's 1920 by 1080 pixels and then click 
click on elements then you'll probably want to type in something like a gradient I like an orange yellow gradient this one looks really nice fit it to the size of the screen then you'll probably want to get some more things in to write down epic this looks cool get a picture of you is also good or as usual always get a picture of you that will also always make your stuff look good And then you'll probably want to have some text. Oh yeah, this one looks really cool. I like this one. So let me just write down. Ick. Do. Dean. Epic. Remix. And then we make it smaller. That looks like a pretty good, that looks like pretty good cover art. Fits with the theme and everything. So now what you'll want to do is you want to click on an, an image or text, click animate. Then you have so many of these to choose from. I personally pre like pop for pictures and I like burst for text. Tumble is also a good one for pictures. So then what you'll want to do is to click up here where it says share after you've finished making your cover art. Then scroll down to where it says download. And always download it as an mp4 video. But on the other hand if you made a picture for your cover art for like Spotify. Then you would want to click up here where it says PNG. That will make it better. But since it's a visualizer and it has all the moving objects and all that, this will be an MP4 video. Download it. Alright, now it's downloaded. So now what you'll want to do is that you'll want to go to the video editor app. So go to Windows and then type in video editor I'll bring it up a lot for you to see then you go new video project Okay, then you click plus where it, up here it says plus add from this PC. Then you go downloads, Ectotin Epic Remix video. Drag it into the storyboard. Then you go copy, and then you're just gonna keep on going control V for as long as you're song is so I know the song is about 3 minutes 10 seconds let's just check that how long is the song 3 minutes 5 so this is perfect so now what we'll want to do is go custom audio at the top here Bring this uh, play here to the very beginning. Click add audio file. Then get your audio file from the band lab one. And 
make sure it's at the very beginning. Click done. Also you want to make sure it ends at the right place. Perfect. So now that it works, you can click up here where it says finish video. Export, always do it on a high so you get the best quality video to upload to YouTube. You click export, put it into your video projects folder, click export and wait for it to export. Alright, now that it's done. It will play the song for you with the video. But now you don't need this, you can just close this window. And now that you've finished your video, you can just close this window as well. And now, what you'll want to do is to upload it to YouTube. So let me go to my YouTube channel. Type in YouTube Then go up here where it says Wait your profile picture then go down to where it says YouTube studio It'll take you to your YouTube studio Then you want to click up here next to your profile picture where it says plus create then you go upload videos select your video go to your pictures video projects make sure it's the right one this one is three minutes ten so that's the right one then you add your title so it looks nice add your description your thumbnail will pop up here when it's ready and then always make sure it says no it's not made for kids just so that you can have your comments on now the YouTube video is uploading and it says that takes gonna take a long time oh never mind it's already done so let's go next click next to where it says video elements now you want to add an end screen. I, pr I prefer one video plus one subscribe. That's the best one in my opinion. Then you click save. Then you can add a card, a video. Let's put this video in. We put it here. And then your card will pop up like that. It will pop up in the top right corner. Save. Then you want to click next. Okay, so you should find no issues with the video so it's okay to use then you want to click public and then click publish if you want to uh, schedule this video for a head of its for a head of just right now ahead of time then you click click schedule find when you want to upload it and the time that you want to upload it find the time zone and then if you want you can set it as a premiere which means you have different themes like this one
so that's one of the types of previews, uh, countdown themes which you can get. But I'm gonna set this as a publish video, public, and then you click publish. And then you can grab your video link and share it to all your friends and all the people that you want to sh give it to. But now, I'm going to uh, tell you about how I uploaded my music to Spotify, and that is through a distributor called Amuse. So you can make an account with Amuse, and then you can only make, make one account, you can't change the email or anything after you've made it, unless you email Amuse themselves. And you can, on the free version, you can upload one video per month. I also recommend downloading the BandLab app because then you can record music on your phone if you don't have a mic for example. Just plug in some headphones and then start recording it, it sounds really nice. And then here is Amuse which is what I use to upload my music onto Spotify. And then yeah, that's basically it. Alright. This has been DPC teaching you guys how to make and upload your first song online. I hope you learned something, and I hope to check out your music in the near future. So, if you guys have made any songs, please send them over. And if you enjoyed, leave a like, and while you're down there, why not hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. DPC out.